One thing I'm a bit fussy about when I format novels is that the first line of text should be flush with the margin, followed by subsequent paragraphs indented. So I'm going to show you how to do that. In the Windows version of Scrivener, the Compile for Export feature is not configured to do this automatically, so you have to format your scenes here in the editor and then set them to compile as is in the Compile menu. First, I'll show you how to format them here in the editor. So let's open the first scene and format it. I like to use Calibri font while I work, but to avoid any copyright issues and to be absolutely sure my ebook can be read on any device, I change the font to Arial Normal. I'll set it to a standard 12 points in size. Bear in mind that the reader sets the font style and size on their reading device. Line spacing of 1 is just fine. 1.5 would be just a little too far apart. I'll make sure it is left aligned. Then I'm going to set a first line indent using the ruler. That's Format, Ruler, and then, still with the entire scene selected, pull this little indent T-bar across to where you want the indent to be. I like about the space taken up by four characters. Place your cursor directly before the first word in the scene and drag the T-bar back to meet the margin. Once you are happy with the formatting of your first scene, you can copy its formatting and paste it onto the rest of your scenes. If you don't have the Copy Format and Paste Format icons in your toolbar, go to Tools, Customize Toolbars. Choose the Format toolbar and then scroll through the available tools and select Copy Formatting. Click on the right arrow to place it on your tool display. It will start off right over on the left hand side of your toolbar, so click on the down arrow to move it to a position of your choice. Then do the same for the Paste Formatting icon. Now, select a paragraph of your scene that has an indent by triple-clicking inside it. Hit the Copy Format button, then open the next scene, select the entire scene by hitting Ctrl A for All, and hit the Paste Format button. Then, place your cursor directly before the first word in the scene and drag it back to meet the margin, and so on through all your scenes. Then, once you've formatted any other pages that you want to compile as is, like front matter and maybe your back matter, open your compile menu. With the contents pane open, place checks inside the as is column for any documents you have especially formatted in your editor. In my case, this would be my title page, all of my scene files and my back matter, but not any of my chapter title folders. I prefer to format them here in the Compile menu so that I can take advantage of the chapter auto numbering. Now, when you go to Compile, your novel will have this first line flush with the margin, followed by subsequent paragraphs indented.